Hello, welcome to M Style. On our show today, we have a young, beautiful fashion designer. Her name is Salma Ibrahim, the owner and founder of Like a Boss Fashion Line. Welcome to our studio, Salma. We are so pleased to have you here today. So maybe we can start by you telling us who you are, where you're from, and what do you like? Um, I'm still a student at the Jomo Kenyatta University of Nairobi, studying mass communication. I'm a blogger and I'm from Nairobi. Briefly, do you mind telling us about your cloth line? How did you start? What do you have to offer? Uh, my cloth line is a cloth line that deals mainly with, cloth, uh, with hoodies, sweatshirts, sweatpants, cooled jackets, more of uh, clothes you can wear during the cold season. And we started this cloth line way back in 2012. Immediately after we cleared high school, me and my friend came up with the idea and we started the cloth line branded like a boss. The starting capital was from our savings. The first production actually we did only five sweatshirts and they were bought by our very close friends and after that the profit has been growing from then and we've been putting it back money and out and the profit has been growing from then. How has your journey been? Like how did you start? What are the challenges you faced? How has your success been? Um, the main challenge you face is from the people who actually order the sweatshirts and on delivery they don't pay you. And you know in Kenya there are so many other cloth lines. So we have a lot of competition from these other cloth lines and sometimes uh, the materials might not be there. Yeah, those are some of the challenges we face. On to that still, so now this challenge Um, on that, we actually do not deliver to people who actually have not paid for the products. And for the missing materials, you need to have more than one producer. If you only depend on one person, if they don't have it, it means they'll slow down your cloth line because you won't have anything to give to the customers. Well, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, that was beautiful and mesmerizing. Back to you, Salma. If I need to buy like a boss sweatshirt, um, can I just get it on any stall in, in Nairobi? Or can I walk to Junction Mall and get it? Or if I want to go to Mudurwa and Gikomba, will I get your like a boss sweatshirt there? No, we operate online. We have a number that is online. You call and you make your deliveries and the uh, you call and you make your orders, then delivery is done within the CBD. And for the people who order from outside Nairobi, we deliver them as parcels. Um, our target market is actually everybody. We deal with the young, the old, we even have a kids collection, um, both genders for the male and the female. Uh, we deal with everyone actually. Moving on, can you tell us where do you see yourself in the next three to five years what, what do you plan for yourself in the future? Uh, in the next three to five years, we'd like to get, gain like international uh, recognition. We'd like to go to other countries in East Africa, like maybe Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, such countries. So We'd like to broaden the market. Do you get a chance to mentor young, young fashion designers like you in this, in this country? Do you get to give them advice? Do you get, do you get to, a chance to talk to them and help them? Yeah, we've gotten the chance a couple of times. We used to do a show on Zuko. Uh, it's a kid's show. We used to mentor the kids. So you talk to the kids through the show. They ask, ask you questions and you answer them there and they make their orders. That's how we actually came with, up with the kids collection. What's your general take on the fashion industry in Kenya as we conclude? I think the fashion industry in Kenya is really growing. Like five years ago, people would not be able to buy, let's say, a sweatshirt at 2,500. But for now, people are growing with trends. If the trend now is for the sweatshirts, people will actually buy it. So I think the Kenyan industry is growing and we're going to somewhere better. Well, thank you so much for, ha for joining us today on this show today. And we as Amstel wish you the best of luck in your projects. Thank you for having me. 
I have been your host, Anna Apollinari. You can get a chance to watch more videos on our website, www.mingi.tv. You can also follow us on Twitter at Mingi News. And feel free to leave your comments and likes on our Facebook page, Mingi TV. Until next time, see you. <laughs>